with Mark Pollard, Head of Performance at Scottish Athletics, on the day that eight athletes were named in the GB and Northern Ireland team for the World Champs in Budapest. How good a representation do you think that is, Mark? I think it's a, a really positive representation for, for Scottish athletics and athletics in Scotland to see a, a combination of established senior athletes as well as some younger athletes being part of that team for the world champs is, is huge for, for Scots athletics. And as we always say on these occasions, Mark, it's it's years and years of hard work. It's not as if it's something that's happened over the last few weeks. You know, we talk about current form, obviously, but it, there's a lot goes into it and a lot of hard work from coaches and from clubs, isn't there, on the pathway? No, I think, again, it's as we say, it's not an overnight success. You know, some of these established seniors have been putting in the hard graft for up to a decade in terms of getting to this level. And the clubs that are part of that initial development, the, the key coaches on that journey and their current setups you know, are, are all hugely important. And equally, it's great to see, as I said, two younger athletes getting exposure at this level. Those two younger athletes would be Megan Keith and Alison Bell. Both of, both of them have been to the European under-23s with great success there. Yep, both, both Megan and Alison you know, picked up medals and, and great experiences out in Finland. And again, it's just really positive to see them make the leap onto the, the senior team. For someone like Nicole Jürgen, a lot of medals last season in the championships, three three major championships and three major relay medals for her. So Nicole will be pleased to be involved in the 4 before again. From Nicole's point of view, I think she's becoming an ever-present on these GB teams and it's it's great to see her consistency in recent seasons paying off in another representation at World Championship level. And in middle and long distance, we do have very established names, Josh Kerr, Neil Gourley, Gemma Riki, Laura Muir and Ailish McCogan, five of our very best athletes. And we'll, I would imagine within that group, there'll be some serious ambitions uh, resting there. Yeah, and I mean, again, we're, we're talking about seasoned internationals who have medalled at the highest level and, and competed you know, really well at major championships in recent, recent seasons. So again, I'm sure they'll be coming in with, with strong ambitions to, to replicate the, the types of performances they've delivered previously. And we're at Scotland for a for a GAA miler meet, which is is sort of further down the, down the, the pathway, effectively. But these are the, these are the meets where we've seen people emerge from. We can remember them being here just a few years ago, really. No, I think again, you no, know, obviously it's a middle distance meet. But from that perspective, the likes of Neil Gourley, Josh Kerr, Laura Muir, Gemma Riki, this has all been part of their journey, part of their development, competing at this level of meet. And again, it's a really good step on the ladder and that progress towards senior success. And I guess with Scottish Athletics having appointed a, a field uh, man, a national manager for field, Sam O'Kane, that's probably an aspect where you want to see a little bit more of the development work going in over the next couple of years. Again, it's hugely important that we want to see success across each uh, of the event groups and the opportunity to appoint a, a national field and combined events manager has, has been really useful and, and hopefully we can see that grow in the coming seasons. Thanks, Mark.